Hi Tigers, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and in today's video I'm going to be trading for my dream megas and we have done so many parts of this series and I think this series has been really really successful so far. I've managed to get a lot of my dream mega pets and hopefully we can find some more in this server but before we start the video I did also get another one of my dream mega pets which I didn't record and that is a mega no potion lynx so I'm really happy that we got what that one too and now we're going to go to the trading area and see if we can trade maybe our neon arctic reindeer or just see some offers for our pets and hopefully this is a rich server and there's like a lot of players in here it doesn't look like the trading's here but it is in gifts and i already see a lot of mega neon pets so i'm just going to look in some people's profiles and see what they're trading and hopefully try and find some exotic or preppy megas because i really like collecting those ones they're really really cool in my opinion so our first offer is a mega neon flower eyed unicorn a mega neon mecha meow and a flower eyed albino monkey it's a good offer but like if the mecha meow was different i would do it because it's kind of hard to trade in my experience but the neon albino monkey and the mega neon mecha meow is definitely an overpay offer on alpha bread it says they're over by quite a lot but the reason why i'm not going to do this is because i feel like it's not really worth it because the mecha meow is hard to trade and i already have a mega neon albino monkey so i probably prefer the neon arctic reindeer but now they've switched it to like a neon albino monkey but i'm just going to tell them that like i'm not sure about the trade but They've replaced it with a regular albino monkey. That's still a good offer, but I'm not really sure. But I'm like, thank you so much for the offer anyways, because I do really, really like seeing any offers for my pets. But I'm going to say that I'll trade them back if like I think about their offer and then I want to do it. Oh, I'm definitely going to put some trade histories in my profile because I haven't done that yet and I think I would really like to do it. And I also really want like a balloon unicorn. I think it's one of my new dream mega pets tigers, the mega neon balloon unicorn. I really, really want one. and They're so, so cute. And our second offer is a neon kangaroo, but that is definitely under. I'm really sorry. Um, but oh, okay, let's look in this person's profile. They have a mega neon fly ride jellyfish, a mega neon fly ride candy floss chick, a mega neon ram, and they also have a neon fly ride puffin. And it says for only overpays. Hmm, okay. Well, even though it's for only overpays, I'm still going to try and offer because it says that they want a mega neon lion cub, and I could include some lion cubs in my offer. Not a Maya, of course, but I could do some of my other ones um, in the offer. And I was just getting distracted because someone in the back just said you're mad over digital pets i mean they do mean a lot to some people especially if you work hard for them but like you know friends are so so important more than pets so i would never recommend fighting over pets but um, I'm going to try and trade this person and offer my neon ride ginger cat because in their profile it does say that they're looking for four ginger cats. So maybe they prefer a neon, that's why I traded them. But oh, they said, no, sorry, I'm looking for four regular ones. Okay, that's okay, I understand. Maybe they want to make neon themselves. Uh, do I have four foster? I only have my neon fosters, which I'm currently making mega. But I really hope that you find some because they are extremely, extremely cute. I'm going to tell them I have some ermines though because I do have some of them for trade and they might want to offer. Oh, they say they're making a mega neon fossa as well. Okay, that is definitely really, really cute. And that crocodile is really, really nice as well. Toffee also has a rideable crocodile, I think. Um, let's go around and look in this person's profile. This is a really nice profile. They have like a lot of cute stickers and they say they're looking for some exotic pets and I do have some of them. So I'm going to tell them that I have some ring-tailed lemurs and also um, I know they weren't looking for these, but I also have some brown spring spaniels for trade. And you may know in my recent video, one of my um, friends was quitting Adopt Me and they gave me some of their pets, like really good ones, such as a Neon Dalmatian and Mega Alamosaurus. And I am definitely definitely going to be giving them away to other tiger cubs that are less able to have good pets or they're not as rich as me and adopt me so i think that would definitely be really nice to give away to you tiger cubs because i would never just want
want to keep them for myself at all. So I'm going to try and offer for the crow as well. I might offer maybe some of my mega pets. And I also got a neon majestic pony. One of my neon makers, Phoebe, helped me make that. So thank you so much. It's so, so adorable. I'm going to try and save up for a ride potion because I do like no potion pets, but I love the pony so much that I want to be able to ride it and maybe even fly it. So I'm just going to add in all of this and see if they like my offer for their rideable only crow. Sometimes I have so many like choices of what to add, I don't know what to add. And they just are kind, but I understand they maybe want just like one good pet. So now I'm gonna trade with someone with a mega neon fly ride sheep and that is such an exotic pet and it definitely gets a lot of overpays, but I've never had a mega neon sheep myself. I've had a neon one before. So I'm also gonna ask them if they have any other mega pets for trade. And I think they only have this one for trade, so I'm gonna try and do a good offer for their pet. And I'm also trying to make a lot, as you can see, of these neon orange better fish right now. I nearly have enough for Mega, actually. I only need two more, so I'm going to try and look for some of those as well. But I'm going to start off with my um, regular sheep. I'm going to definitely include them in the offer. But I think I'm going to offer an, like a like enough brown spring spaniels to make a mega and then add in my four regular sheep and a lot of these brown spring spaniels are full grown so they're ready to make neon straight away so it's like i'm giving four neon brown spring spaniels four sheep and a mega neon tasmanian devil and i think i'm also going to give my neon rideable ginger cat as well and then see if they would like to do my offer Oh, they said they didn't want to do it, but I definitely understand because maybe they're looking for like one good pet for their mega neon sheep. Maybe like another mega exotic pet or another high tier pet. But now I'm going to offer for this person's mega jellyfish, which I saw earlier, but I think they were AFK earlier or were just like doing something else. But now I'm going to try and offer for it. And I've never had a mega neon jellyfish. I've only recently got a neon one. So I'm going to try and definitely give a fair offer for this pet because in my experience with mega neon exotic pets, you just can't be underpaying for them. People are only going to accept like a fair offer at least or preferably an overpay offer because you're not going to get exotic pets for underpays in my opinion. You have to like overpay or at least give a fair offer. So I'm definitely going to try and make sure my offer is good. They said it's a good offer so far. So thank you so much. I'm going to tell them thank you in a minute. I thought I had a regular one of those ponies to add, but I don't. So I'm going to just do this for now and see if they like it. I'm going to see what they say about this offer because I do think it's a pretty good offer, but they just might not want to do it if they're looking for one good pet. I think, do they want me to add a bit? I'm going to ask them if they want me to add a bit. I don't mind adding a little bit, but I am going to check on Alva Bread Values if this offer is fair for the Mega Neon Jellyfish. And... Wait, do they mean the Mega Goat? I think if I add my Mega Neon Goat, I'm going to be, like, very over. I'm just going to look on Alva Bread and see what it's worth. And I've just checked on Alva Bread and it actually says that my that the Mega Neon Jellyfish is 80 points. And if I add the Mega Neon Go, it says that like I'm at 118 points. So I don't think I could add that right now because I don't want to like overpay too much. And I think the goat does have like quite a lot of demand, like the jellyfish does. But I'm gonna say thank you for letting me offer anyway. Um I'm gonna see. Well, they, they said no. I, I told them that I thought I was over if I added the Mega Neon Goat, but I don't know what they think about that. They just said no. They said that that's over for me by six. I'm just gonna tell them what like it said on Alva Bread Values. I mean, I don't know if they use those values or not, but I kind of use those values, so I'm not sure I would want to like um, overpay. Why are they telling me that I need to learn values? I checked on Alva Bread and I'm pretty sure that I am definitely over. And you can't force someone to do a trade even if they're under or over. So I'm not sure why they're 
kind of being rude and telling me to learn values because I checked on Alpha Bread and it said that I was very, very over. So I think they're just like wanting a massive overpay, but that's really unfair on the other player because I get it a small overpay is okay, but if I gave a mega go, it's like I'm kind of giving a mega go away for free. So I don't know why they're asking me to overpay so much. But anyway, it's okay. If they didn't want to do it, that's absolutely fine. But I just don't know why they were telling me to learn values because yeah but anyways i'm gonna offer for this mega neon owl now instead and i do not have time to check the value of this i'm just gonna like spam adding in all of my mega pets because this is such a high tier pet and if i got this it would be like a huge upgrade um okay they declined but it's okay i understand maybe they just didn't want my pets i understand that because mega owls have got huge demand and they're so so adorable and a lot of people really like them but i'm gonna now trade this person and ask them if i can offer for their mega neon puffin because i would really really like to offer for that and it also says that they're looking for a mega neon albino monkey so i'm gonna add that in and see if they would like to offer for it and if I did do my Neon Fly Ride Dalmatian and ads for this Mega Neon Puffin, then because I got this Neon Fly Ride Dalmatian from one of my friends who was quitting Adopt Me, I would probably give away the Mega Neon Puffin in my next giveaway. But I'm not saying I am going to because I'm not sure if I'm going to get this, but just if I did get this, I might give it away. I probably would if I get this. And they also have a Mega Neon Rideable Goose, a Mega Neon Gecko. They have a lot of cool pets. I really like the Goose as well, but I'm not sure what I could offer for it. They could do like the Mega Neon Ride Goose and ads for the Neon Dalmatian because I think it's under by itself. They also have a quite a lot of nice legendaries as well. But I'm not sure I would do all of this for the Mega Neon Albino Monkey because um, I do think it's a bit under on values. But I'm going to ask them if I can offer for their puffin anyways. I'm gonna do this and then plus my four sheep. It's nearly exactly fair. Um, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna add those to my offer. I'm gonna ask them if this is okay and see what they think about this offer. Oh, they just left the game. Okay, maybe they decided they didn't want to do it. But as you can see there, there was just someone on the Mega Neon Tortuga de Isla. And this person's inventory is so rich as well. They have so many Mega Pets. This is like one of the richest players I've seen in this server. And just in Adopt Me because their profile is absolutely... Like, it's just so cool how they're displaying all their Mega Pets. But I'm going to ask them if their Mega Neon Tortuga de Isla is for trade. And if it is, I'm probably going to try and offer for it. Okay, so they added it in the trade, so I think I'm going to offer pretty much the same offer because when I looked, the Mega Neon Tortuga de Isla is actually like the exact same value as the Mega Puffin, I'm pretty sure. So this offer is like fair as well, so I'm going to add this and see what they think. I'm going to ask them if this is okay and see what they think. And I'm also just going to tell them that I've got like swaps for my pets. Oh, they said it's a fair offer, but I prefer the Tall Sugar. Yeah, I understand because it's definitely like a really cool pet and not many people have it. But this is my Mega Lynx, which I did get in the Server Tigers, and it is no potion, so I think that's really, really cool because I'm kind of like a no potion collector, and I think no potion pets are really cool. So, like I say, if you have any name suggestions, just comment them in the comment section and I might pick one of your name suggestions because you Tiger Cubs really helped me think of some really cool names for my pets. So, thank you so much. And in my next video, I might be saying when I'm going to be doing my next giveaway. So, make sure to watch out for that next video. And I'm also going to be doing some videos to do with like houses, trading houses and building houses very soon. So, I hope that you're looking forward to those types of videos videos tigers and i really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos and i'll see you all in the next video bye tigers